Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another Championship Predictions video. Today I'm joined by Lee FC. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you Matt. How are you? Not too bad. I'm really gassed that the season's back and I just want to get straight into the round two predictions. So let's do this. There's no Friday night game, so let's get started with the Saturday lunchtime game between Peterborough United and Derby County. Now Peterborough United just come up. This is going to be their first home game. However, last week wasn't good was it they're bottom of the league after that 3-0 defeat away at Luton Town it's early days they're readjusting to being in the championship and Luton Town was a tough opponent this week their opponents is Derby County who you know what last week it was a decent point I know they were playing a, a Covid hit Huddersfield but they've brought in a couple of players recently and Derby are trying to make themselves competitive for this season despite all the setbacks they've had this summer I'm just going to back Peterborough though I think being at home and being against Derby they need to win this one and I think they will Peterborough 2-1 I was going to go Peterborough to be fair, um, but obviously thinking about their result um, last weekend, not oh, well, the weekend just gone, not the best. Um, obviously Derby getting a point, but obviously there are still big overlaying uh, problems at the club. Uh, so I think I'm going to go for a bit of a draw, uh, a bit of a boring one actually. Uh, I'm going to go for 1-1. One, one. 1-1, one, one. a predictable draw down the middle. Next up then, we have Barnsley versus Coventry City, our team. Coventry obviously picking up that win on the opening weekend against Nottingham Forest. What a result that was. Barnsley's going to be a tough opponent, especially on the road. Barnsley obviously made the playoffs last uh, last season and they picked up a decent point against Cardiff last weekend. Mm, this is tough. I'm going to try and be realistic but optimistic. I'm going to say Coventry are just going to edge this. I think we're going to be riding a little bit of a high after that win. And I think I'm going to go for another 2-1 win for Coventry here. It's going to be hard, but I think we could do it. You know what? I completely concur. Um, obviously, last season I had um, a bit of a run with Coventry where I predicted they'd win every game, <laughs> every time I came on the predictions. So, um, you know what? This season, I'm going to do the opposite. Uh, I'm going to go Coventry to lose. Uh, so, first Coventry loss prediction on the channel from me. Uh, Coventry going to lose 2-0. You're not coming back on this channel after that. You're, you're banned from the channel. Um, next up, we have Birmingham City versus Stoke City, a West Midlands derby. And both teams getting off to a decent start last week. Birmingham picking up a 1-0 win away at Sheffield United. What result that was. Uh, grinding it out, a really hard-fought Lee Bowyer kind of win. And Stoke City winning a thriller against Reading. So this one is an opportunity for both teams to get to six points after two games. And... Mm, oh, it's hard. I'm just going to back the home team. I'm going to go Birmingham City 2, Stoke City 1. Yeah, I think I'm going to back Birmingham, uh, being at home. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with them. Uh, yes, Stoke had a good result, but um, you know what? It's all different when you go uh, up to St Andrews. And obviously, Birmingham fans being back at St Andrews, being back in the stadium, I think that'll really play a part, and I think they're going to win this 2 now. 2-0. Next up, we go up to Bloomfield Road. Blackpool Football Club taking on Cardiff City and both teams picking up a 1-1 draw in that opening weekend. Cardiff, obviously, against Barnsley and Blackpool with a 93rd minute equaliser away at Bristol City. And uh, I think Cardiff will be the favourites, but you've got to take into account this is Blackpool returning to the Championship, their first home game. They're going to be riding a little bit of a high after scoring a last-minute equaliser at Bristol City. And I think this is going to be a big occasion and Blackpool are going to do it. I think Blackpool win this game 2-1. Oh, I'm going to go for the opposite. I think Cardiff might just have a little bit too much for them. I think it's just that extra bit of championship quality might just show. Um, obviously, being only a game in, uh, so I expect probably Cardiff maybe just to manage the game a little bit better. Uh, if they manage to go and get an early goal, I think they managed to hold out the lead. Uh, even if later on in the game, Blackpool started piling on the pressure. Uh, so I'm going to go Cardiff 1-0. Cardiff 1-0. Next up we go to Huddersfield. Huddersfield Town taking on Fulham Football Club. Huddersfield obviously picked up a draw against Derby. I think they would have been the favourites to win that game but they were hit with loads of Covid and Fulham obviously drew as well. They drew with Middlesbrough. Mm, you've got to lean towards Fulham but I'm going to say Huddersfield throw a spanner in the works and I'm going to go for another 1-1 draw for both of these teams. Uh, I think I'm going to go Fulham. Um, obviously it wasn't in the script their draw against Middlesbrough. Uh, with a late goal, a uh, late equaliser. But, you know what, I think they've got the squad to do it, potentially, uh, this year, to take them right back or automatic uh, would, would probably be my prediction as well for that. So, yeah, I'm going to go Fulham, and I'm going to go Fulham 3-1. Fulham 3-1. Yeah. Next up to the KC, Hull City's first home game, back in the Championship against a pretty tough opponent, Queen's Park Rangers, who picked up a draw against Millwall. Two fantastic goals in that London derby, by the way. But Hull City, they're the talking point at the moment because they're top of the table. Will they stay there for now? Um, it's a tough game, but because they're at home, I'll give them a draw. I'm going to go 1-1 for this game. 
Yeah, I think I'll, I'll back a 1-1 as well, to be honest. Um, you know, both, as I said, both teams. Uh, just kind of like, I don't know really, after one game of the season, to be honest. Um, yeah, 1-1. One, one. Not much analysis from me there, sorry. Next up then we go to the Riverside Middlesbrough Football Club taking on Bristol City now. Both teams once again picked up a draw last week. A lot of draws going on last week and I'm just going to back Middlesbrough for this one. They're at home. Obviously they'll, they'll be pretty pleased with the point they picked up at Fulham. Bristol City will be on a bit of a down after dropping the points against Blackpool. I'm going to just back Middlesbrough to win this game 1-0. Uh, I'm going to go with Middlesbrough as well, uh, obviously getting a, a late point away at Fulham. Uh, I think that will really kind of you know spur them on in this next game, thinking they'll be able to get a result, and I think they will. Um, I think it will be 2-1. 2-1. Next up, we go down to London, Millwall Football Club take on Blackburn Rovers. Now, this could be an interesting matchup. I think both teams could uh, be pretty pleased with the results they picked up last week. Millwall picking up a draw at QPR. I suppose they could have won that game, but still a decent point nonetheless. But Blackburn definitely happy with that opening win against Swansea City. And obviously they lost Adam Armstrong this week. That's a big departure. For £15 million, they need to try and spend that money wisely and invest it back into the club because an absence of Armstrong's goals this season could lead to them having a, a real stinker. But... Tony Mowbray's teams always do get off to a good start to the season, so there is potential they could win this game, but oh, Millwall is such a tough opponent. Oh, God. I'm going to be a fence-sitter and go for a 1-1 draw here. I'm going to be exactly the same, unfortunately. Maybe a little bit more of an entertaining game, uh, hopefully. Obviously, you mentioned Adam Armstrong leaving. Uh, that's really big, uh, a really big loss to them. So I think I'm going to go for score draw 2-2. 2-2. Two, two. Next up we go to Nottingham Forest taking on AFC Bournemouth. Now Bournemouth were involved in that dramatic 2-2 two, two draw on the opening night against West Bromwich Albion and Nottingham Forest we saw them at the Rico Arena losing late on against Coventry City and the favourites have got to be Bournemouth but I'm actually going to back Forest here 1-0. I think Chris Hewton really needs to make up for the dropped points against Coventry City and you can see that when they score first, they try and defend a 1-0 lead. And that's what they tried to do at Coventry. And obviously, to the frustration of the Forest fans, it didn't work. I'm going to go for them to score first and hang on to that lead. And they're going to beat Bournemouth 1-0. I think I'm going to potentially go with the opposite. I'm going to back Bournemouth. Um, obviously, you know, they won't, uh, won't have wanted uh, that draw against West Brom. But overall, when it comes to the end of the season, that might not actually be a bad result against West Brom. But as you mentioned, you know, Nottingham Forest, I uh, thought they looked very good at times. Uh, they made Coventry look very ordinary, uh, you know, full of pace on the counter-attack as well. But yeah, just for me, even though the Forest fans are back at, back at the stadium, um, yeah, Bournemouth for me, I'll go for a 2-1 win. 2 on win. Next we go down to the Medeski Reading Football Club taking on Preston North End. Now, I know it's early days, but at the start of the season, in my championship predictions, I backed Preston to get relegated. And after that display against Hull City, I'm starting to think I could be right. Now, it is only one game in. They obviously have a lot of time to turn that around. But based on what we saw, Preston North End, that was a disastrous start to the season. Uh, they're going up against Reading, who also lost their opening game away at Stoke. That was a bit of a tighter game. They really should have got something there. Some really decent finishes in that 3-2 uh, defeat. I'm just going to back Reading here. I'm going to go for Reading 2, Preston North End 1. And I don't know, I'm just a little bit concerned for Preston at the moment. So I, I think I'm going to back Reading as well, um, after Preston's really poor result. But um, I don't know, some part of me still feels that Preston, um, you know, they're a good solid side uh, at times. And I, I can't really, you know, see them maybe struggling too much. Uh, maybe, you know, it'll carry on for a little bit and they'll get back to their normal ways. But... Um, yeah, Reading, Reading for me, I think, and I'll go for a 2 0 win to Reading. 2 0 win to Reading. Next up to the Hawthorns, West Bromwich Albion taking on Luton Town now. Coming down from the Premier League, West Bromwich Albion will obviously be one of the favourites to win this league and obviously be the favourites into most games they go into. But Luton Town is a classic, cherished, stubborn team which you would probably underestimate. And West Bromwich Albion fans might do that. They might underestimate the teams like Luton Town and. I think Luton Town turn up here and give them a really good game, especially after what we saw against Peterborough United. They absolutely, you know, murked them, didn't they? They beat them 3-0. This is going to be tough, though, for Luton Town. It's one of them where it's really tough for both teams. I'm going to go for another 2-2 draw for West Bromwich Albion. So it's West Bromwich Albion 2, Luton Town 2. Uh, I think I'm going to go West Brom. I think, as, as you mentioned uh, with uh, what you said about Luton, you know, good, solid team, good, solid championship side. Can cause an upset on their day. Absolutely, a lot of teams have seen that uh, last season. Um, but I think I just think West Brom. I think they'll get uh, the game over the line. 
and I could see them win. I'll tell you what, I was really impressed with their um, aerial prowess yeah. uh, and their set pieces uh, and the game just gone. So, um, yeah, for me, I think I'm going to go West Brom. We'll make it interesting. 3-2 West Brom. 3-2 West Brom, yeah. Cracking game from both of us there at the Hawthorns. And the final game is at the Liberty. Swansea City taking on Sheffield United in a game which you'd expect two teams to really be up in that top six this season. But they both lost on the opening weekend and... Oh, this is really hard to predict. From what I saw from both teams, I think it was it's going to be a bit of a slow start and they really need to bounce back. If they can get back to winning ways in the second week, then it's almost like they can forget that first week. But if they lose their second game after losing their first, then it's a disaster. And I don't want to sit on the fence. I don't want to go for a draw here. So I'm going to say Swansea City 1, Sheffield United 2. Yeah, I think Swansea's rotten start will continue. Yes, it's only one game. But, um, yeah, I just think Sheffield United... Uh, you know, I've actually heard quite good things about Sheffield United, uh, even though they lost the game to Birmingham. Uh, I've still heard some quite good things, you know, some uh, you know good bits of play in the game, uh, you know, dominating possession and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go back to Sheffield United and I'm going to go for a 1-0 win. 1-0 to Sheffield United. That wraps up the Championship predictions for week two, guys. Let me know your predictions down in the comments. Make sure you've slapped a thumbs up on this one. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're so close to 5,000 subscribers now. Subscribe to Lee FC as well, guys. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.